Chico's. I'm suave at like Rico. Can't be mine, no repo. This my home like Depot. Can't deny like Vito. Hey, hey, way too fast. I gotta go. I'm in the zone. Foot on the gas. Foot on the gas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, GPS. Uh, I got goals. I know where to go, so I never crash. Hey.
Welcome to Boonesboro High School, getting ready for high school football action here on Antietam Broadband. Brought to you by Hagerstown Honda and Hagerstown Kia. Two unbeaten teams here in the early going of this 2023 season. The Brunswick Railroaders coming in here at 2-0. Taking on the homestanding Boonesboro Warriors, also at 2-0. Glad to have you with us here tonight. Again, on Antietam Broadband, Channel 6 and 806. Mark Keller here along with Coach Randy Longnecker. And uh, Randy, should be, a, should be a good one here tonight. Uh, a couple teams coming in here uh, on, uh, on on a winning run and, uh, and both teams pretty impressive so far in the early season. Tell you, Mark, I've been looking forward to this one. Beautiful night, too, for a game. Uh, as you said, both teams are undefeated. Uh, Brunswick hasn't even given up a point so far. Both teams are averaging around 35, 37 uh, points a game. Well, not bad. Uh, and these are two gritty teams, always have been. Uh, the kids that go to Brunswick and Boonesboro, tough, tough kids. It yeah, should, uh, should be a real good one here tonight. A couple teams uh, that have uh, uh, really been kind of building here over the last few years. Brunswick, in, in particular, on the building side, uh, you know, had, had some really lean years uh, in the last decade, but really turned things around. Three straight winning seasons, 7-5 uh, and five in 2021, and a couple playoff wins that year. Last year, 9-4, and four, three playoff wins, got all the way to the 1A uh, state semifinals. So looking prime for another good season uh, with that 2-0 start here in 2023. Uh, their coach really has things rolling. I know when I was coaching there, I was a little concerned because their numbers started to go down a little bit, and it's really nice to see their turnout. And success breeds success, and they're experiencing that right now. So um, they've been doing a really nice job and uh, scoring a lot of points and defensively this year. <laughs> really sound so far. Absolutely. We'll remind you, Hagerstown uh, Honda and Hagerstown Kia are our sponsors tonight. Our coverage brought to you by them. The dealers that make it easy are Hagerstown Honda and Hagerstown Kia. They're wishing much success to the student athletes participating in tonight's game the schools that they represent, and the surrounding communities. Uh, so we talked about Brunswick uh, very briefly. We talked about Boonsboro and how the, the, the road that, that has gotten them here. 42-28 uh, win last week over Liberty, 24-20 win over Catoctin in, in week one. Uh, they, they come in here on a six-game winning streak uh, in the regular season. Uh, Thing is, they did the same thing last year. They came into the Brunswick game on a six-game winning streak, and Brunswick took it to them, a 27-7 loss, and that started kind of a three-game losing streak uh, uh, for Boonesboro in, in that season. They ended up turning it around and, and having, a, having a run into the playoffs, but what does Boonesboro have to do here tonight against a, a obviously pretty tough Brunswick uh, defense? Well, they got to take care of the football. If I remember correctly last year, they had a little bit of ball issues, uh, losing uh, fumbles and so on like that. Ball security, control the clock uh, and maintain the ball. Uh, that's the biggest thing. Uh, and be physical. And uh, they'll mix in the pass. Uh, Coach Wado likes to run the ball and pound and uh, with the wing tee. You know, it's a three-headed monster. You got the fullback, quarterback, the halfback, and the wing back. Um, and they'll mix that up, try to keep Brunswick on their heels. And uh, if they can do that, they'll probably be successful. Yeah, uh, uh, talking to Bob Parcelletti a little bit, and we'll bring Bob in here shortly. Uh, but uh, he, he saw Boonesboro last week uh, in that win over Liberty, and, and he uh, said basically, they're running basically the same old Boonesboro offense. That wing tee, they're spreading things around. You kind of really see that when you start looking at the stats for the runners. Three running backs, all with good yardage, all with uh, all getting into the end zone. The more things change, the more they stay the same here at Boonesboro. <laughs> well, Mark, honestly, why change something that's not broken? And uh, it's been working for them for years. Coach Andrews obviously had huge success with it. And I always liked, I used uh, parts of the wing tee too. I did a little more spread approach with it. But the nice thing with the blocking concepts with a wing T 
see is you never have to take people head up. You always have angle blocks, double teams, and that type of thing. And Boonesboro doesn't have a lot of size, so that offense makes a whole lot of sense for them and the personnel that they have. Okay. Stay with us. We're going to be back with more. Bob Parcelletti is going to talk to Brunswick coach uh, Jerry Smith before we get started here. So stay with us. More to come here on Antietam Broadband High School Football. Brunswick taking on Boonesboro tonight. More to come right after this. If I'm the mayor of this town, I'd still be driving around in a Kia from Hagerstown, Kia. Be road trip ready in your new Kia from Hagerstown Kia. Like the Kia Sorento, room for up to seven. Or the Kia Sportage with best in class cargo room. Or go big and bold with the Kia Telluride with room up to eight. Shop online at HagerstownKia.com or in person and let our sales consultants help you choose your next Kia. Serving our community proudly for over 25 years, we are Hagerstown Kia. Join us at the Green Turtle in Hagerstown to watch your favorite sports teams on over 100 TVs. Serving all your favorites, including crab dip, wings, burgers, and wraps. Mention this ad and receive $5 off your entire bill. Is your sports team or organization looking for a fundraiser night? Ask about Funds for Friends and earn 20% back. The Green Turtle in Hagerstown. Call today, 301-745-8800. Our family relies on the internet every day. We both work from home at times, so our Wi-Fi just has to be there. We learn with it, laugh with it, and count on it for all kinds of things in our home. Your family depends on strong internet and Wi-Fi. That's why Antietam Broadband provides fast internet speeds and reliable Wi-Fi to meet your needs every day. Flight Fiber is now available in Sharpsburg. Call 301-797-5000 now to sign up. When you need someone who will come through no matter what, someone who will go the extra mile, Cumberland Valley Heating and Air specializes in the installation of residential and commercial heating and air solutions. 24-7 emergency service delivers our promise of getting you the help you need when you need it. We're the tri-state experts in heating, air conditioning, and above all, comfort. Cumberland Valley Heating and Air. It's hard to stop a train. We're sure making a lot of people happy. Hey, you're gonna wanna Hagerstown Honda. Life's too short. Let Hagerstown Honda make you happy by putting you in the new Honda that you've always wanted, like the all-new redesigned Honda Accord, or the always dependable and fuel-efficient CRV, or the roomy and powerful Honda Pilot that seats up to eight people. Let Hagerstown Honda's helpful sales advisors pair you with the Honda that works best for you from the dealer that's making it easy. Hagerstown Honda. When choosing internet and Wi-Fi service to meet your family's education needs, it pays to do your homework. You'll learn that Antietam Broadband, with fast, reliable speeds up to 2.5 gig and unlimited data, powered by Antietam Smart Wi-Fi, is the right choice. School has changed, and so should your internet. Contact Antietam Broadband today and upgrade to the internet speed and smart Wi-Fi your family needs. Voltage Wrestling is coming to Antietam Broadband. The action and excitement of Voltage Wrestling on Washington County Living, Channel 6 and 806. The physicians and physical therapy team at the Center for Advanced Orthopedics Parkway Division specialize in prevention, diagnosis, treatment, and rehabilitation of sports injuries. Our new facility is conveniently located near Interstate 70 and 81. We offer easy parking, on-site x-ray, and diagnostic tools, and we accept all major insurances, including Medicare. Our board-certified physicians and physical therapists specialize in sports injuries, joint replacement, hand surgery, and injections. Student Back here at Boonesboro High School, getting ready for kickoff. Two unbeaten teams, the Boonesboro Warriors, hosting the Brunswick Railroaders here tonight as the Warriors take the field in preparation for this one. 
to have you with us here again on Antietam Broadband, Channel 6 and 806. More Thursday night football for you this week. Should be a good one here tonight. A couple teams playing very well coming into this one. I mentioned Boonesboro with a 42-28 victory over Liberty last week. And we touched a little bit on Brunswick and the start that they've had have not uh, given up a point this season. A 39-0 win over Rock Ridge, Virginia in week one, and then a 35-0 win over Tuscarora last week. Stay with us. We'll have more to come here from Boonesboro High School right after this. Are you tired of living with water that's causing rust stains, hard water spots, or other issues in your home? Water's supposed to make life easier and more comfortable, and we can help you experience the water you deserve. As your local authorized Hague dealer, we can tailor a water treatment solution to address your specific needs. We can make sure your laundry stays soft, your skin silky smooth, with a custom-designed water treatment conditioning system. Your whole home and family will benefit from the high-quality water you deserve. Call us today. Life's too short. Let Hagerstown Honda make you happy by putting you in the new Honda that you've always wanted, like the all-new redesigned Honda Accord, or the always dependable and fuel-efficient CRV, or the roomy and powerful Honda Pilot that seats up to eight people. Let Hagerstown Honda's helpful sales advisors pair you with the Honda that works best for you. From the dealer that's making it easy, Hagerstown Honda. Hi, I'm Brian Albert, Sheriff of Washington County, and as our students start back to school, the Sheriff's Office would like to remind motorists that you must stop for buses stopped with flashing lights. Vehicles must come to a complete stop if any of the following are true. The vehicle is traveling in the same direction as the school bus, even if the road has one lane, multiple lanes, or a central turning lane. Or if the vehicle is traveling in the opposite direction and road does not have a dirt, grass, or barrier median. With your help, we'll keep our children safe this school year. Back to Boonesboro High School, getting ready for live high school football action here on a Thursday night. The 2-0 Boonesboro Warriors taking on the 2-0 Brunswick Railroaders. Mark Keller and Coach Randy Longneck are with you. Long time rivalry between these two teams. This be the 56th meeting between the two schools. 37 an 18 advantage for the Boonesboro Warriors in the series. Uh, but Brunswick has won the last two meetings between them. So we get ready for the coin toss here. Let's get ready for the toss here. Remind you tonight's local coverage. Brought to you by the Centers for Advanced Orthopedics, Parkway Division. They specialize in sports injuries, joint replacement, hand surgery, injections, and more. Call the Centers for Advanced Orthopedics at 301-665-4575 and make your appointment today. 301-665-4575, the Centers for Advanced Orthopedics. Boonesboro will receive... The opening kickoff here. So we'll see the Boonesboro offense first here this evening. And we'll send it down to uh, Bob Parsley now. He has runs with Coach Jerry Smith. Bob, take it away. Hi, I'm, I'm here with uh, Coach Jerry Smith. Jerry, you guys are off to a 2-0 uh, start with uh, two shutouts. What's been working well? Uh, the kids. The kids just want to win, and they're working their tails off to do it. So 
it's pretty easy when you have a good, talented group of kids. With Boonesboro, you got a team that runs the ball a lot. Yep. <laughs> what do you? What's the keys for you guys today? Leverage the ball, play discipline, play gap uh, defense, and just rally to the ball. Can't right, take one person; one, it has to be everybody. All right. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you, Bob. So get ready for kickoff here. Dash Mussolino back to receive the kick along with Chad Wyand. Kick is up and we're underway. Oh, Squid well. kick taken at about the 24 yard line. And out just across the 30 yard line is Parker Duvall. And Boonesboro will take over there. Glad to have you with us here tonight. On a beautiful night for football here in Boonesboro. A great view of South Mountain back behind the press box there behind us. First down run up the middle. There's Chad Wyan. Picks up about two yards on the play. Out to the 33. And we'll have a second down and eight. Coaches love to see their linebackers fill the hole like that. Excellent job. Colin Telemco, the Boonesboro quarterback. Man in motion is Dash Mussolino. Pitch to him, hits the ground, picks it up there, and taken down behind the line of scrimmage. Taken down there by Charlie Lawrence, 44. Loss of three on the play. We'll have a third down and 11. Well, we were talking about ball security there. We almost lost it there on the pitch. Mussolino in the shotgun, has one back beside him. So that was Mussolino in motion to Lemko. Broken play there. Got it back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe picked up a yard and it'll be a three and out here for Boonesboro on their first possession. Ever comforting when you're the quarterback and you're looking for your pitch guy and he's nowhere to be found. <laughs> Ben Wells in on the tackle there for Brunswick. Spiral kick, takes a good bounce. And out of bounds goes Peyton Dean. After a short return on the punt by the Warriors. So Brunswick will take over. A little over two minutes going here in the first period of this one. This game one of six on the schedule here in Washington County tonight. I'll run down that list here for you in just a moment. There's the first down play. Fullback Ben Wells with the carry. Picks up uh, maybe two yards. We'll call it second and eight. And there's two in the backfield for Brunswick. Fullback Ben Wells and quarterback Ethan Houck. They're the two players to watch for this Brunswick offense. We'll touch on them here momentarily as well. How can the shotgun with Wells behind him? The handoff is to Wells up the middle. Lots of room to run. First down and more as he perches midfield. Breaks a tackle. Taken down finally at the 25-yard line. Big run by Ben Wells. 
Really nice blocking at the point of attack. And Wells has some nice wheels. Flag on the field. There is a flag on the play, and they're calling a false start against Brunswick. Railroaders fans right in front of us not liking that. But we see now there the explosiveness of Wells listed as a fullback. He looked more like a tailback there. Yeah, he certainly did. <laughs> Wells, a senior, had 1,650 yards last year, his junior year, and 18 oh, touchdowns for the Railroaders. Obviously a big reason for the resurgence here of the Railroaders over the last couple of years. So the penalty moves the ball back to the Brunswick 22, and it'll be a second down and 13. Houck back to throw. Nice throw and off the hands of Jacob Genos. And that was a bullet off the arm of Ethan Houck. Take another look at that here, Randy. That is one of the uh, best fastballs I've seen in high school football around here in a little while. <laughs> Absolutely. Hauk, a senior, I'm sorry, just a junior, uh, is quarterback Ethan Hauk. He has been the starter since his freshman year at Brunswick. So lots of experience in the backfield for the Railroaders. And we'll have an encroachment penalty against Boonesboro. That's what gets that five yards back. And it'll be a third down and eight now. Hauk last year, 1,300 yards and 11 touchdowns passing. Hauk and Wells in the backfield. Three receivers to Hauk's right. Pressure on him. He's flushed out. Gets a nice block. Hauk rolling, still looking downfield. Tucks it in and is taken down at about the 28-yard line. Logan France in on the stop. Great coverage by the Warriors. Just nowhere for Hauk to throw here. See the nice block coming up here. Good pursuit there by Trevor Sowers, 26 as well on the play. So fourth down and eight, Brunswick will have to punt it away. Young yeah, man did a nice job not forcing the ball on that too. Certainly could have. Rolls out of bounds on, on the Boonesboro sideline. We're going to spot it at the 44 yard line. So good field position here for Boonesboro as they get their second crack on offense. Randy, we talked a little bit about the this Boonesboro offense. The pitch to Mussolino trying to get around the edge. Gets there and picks up about two yards. Knocked down there by Baron Obafo. The Railroaders. But the Warriors. Uh, Coach Mark Wadle uh, sort of taking a page out of Clayton Anders' playbook and, and uh, using the hot hand, going with the hot hand and really spreading the ball around. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Got some nice skill, kids. To Lemko, rolls out to his left, completes the pass. With plenty of room out there in the flat. Parker DeBall making the catch. The DeBall. Picking Inside up about 21 30, yards on the play. Nice play. 
Ran low wheel route with the slot after the wideout ran the corner off. Nice play. To Lemko in the first two Warriors games this season, only attempted 14 passes. Five for 14 on the season up to this point. Now to Lemko back to throw again. Flushed out of the pocket, gets it off, completed. Oh, nice catch. On the sideline. Logan Franz making the catch. Picks up about seven on the play. Second and long two. Mark him down at the 27 yard line. And we have a Boonesboro player down on the far sideline, at the far sideline for us anyway. That was a really nice catch, Mark. Good hands. And it's 11, Mason Murphy is down on the field. Looks like maybe a cramp that he's dealing with over there. <clears throat> yeah, as I mentioned, uh, Telemco just has not thrown the ball much so far this season. Only 14 attempts coming in to this one. He's two for two already tonight. That's pretty typical of Boonesboro. I, in all the years I coached against them and followed them, they they throw when they need to. They, you know, and they're very competent in their passing game. They're always, you know, well coached in that area. But they they only go to it if they need to. You mentioned that running game, and 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 it was, uh, you know, sort of uh, one of the hallmarks of of those Clayton Anders teams. And and again, Mark Wadle, who who coached under uh, Anders here at Boonesboro for a number of years, kind of. Keeping going with that, uh, three uh, running backs with more than 100 yards rushing already this season. And the pass again to Telemco, oh, from nice. Telemco, complete to Logan Fronts. 27 yards for the touchdown, and the Warriors on top with 5.49 to go here in the first period. Tell us what you see here, Coach. That quarterback, nice little roll, misdirection, got flow to the left, rolled to the right, and Fonts got behind the defense. Nice throw by Telemico. Excellent play. That nice little rollout bought him extra time so the receiver could get some nice depth there. Excellent. And we're going to have a procedure call against Boonesboro, so we'll move it back here five. Carlos Pazos on to attempt the extra point. Pazos six for six on his extra point attempts so far this season. Kick is up. And it is good. So with 5.49 to go here in the first period, Boonesboro with a 7-0 lead over Brunswick. Stay with us. More live high school football coverage to come brought to you by Hagerstown Honda and Hagerstown Kia. The physicians and physical therapy team at the Center for Advanced Orthopedics Parkway Division specialize in prevention, diagnosis, treatment, and rehabilitation of sports injuries. Our new facility is conveniently located near Interstate 70 and 81. We offer easy parking, on-site x-ray, and diagnostic tools, and we accept all major insurances, including Medicare. Our board-certified physicians and physical therapists specialize in sports injuries, joint replacement, hand surgery, and injections. From Hagerstown, Kia. Hagerstown, Kia. Be road trip ready in your new Kia from Hagerstown, Kia. Like the Kia Sorento, room for up to seven. Or the Kia Sportage with best-in-class cargo room. Or go big and bold with the Kia Telluride with room up to eight. Shop online at HagerstownKia.com or in person and let our sales consultants help you choose your next Kia. Serving our community proudly for over 25 years, we are Hagerstown, Kia. Back to Boonesboro High School. Pazos' kickoff. Borowski on the return. Returned out to the 24-yard line. Nate Borowski with the return there. So a bit of, bit of a surprise from the Warriors. We 
talk about the running game and how they haven't thrown the ball much. And well, Brunswick's been real stout up front against the run, so they kind of loosened them up a little bit, Mark, with those three passes, I think. Three good-looking passes by Colin Telemco and capping it off with the 27-yard touchdown to Logan Front. So now, now, flag on the play here on this first down. You're going to have a false start, false start against, the against Brunswick. Move it back five. They'll have a first and 15. And a move back five. Ball at the Brunswick 18-yard line. We mentioned those other games on the schedule here tonight. Most of them early starts. Smithsburg hosting Century. South Hagerstown hosting Tuscarora. Williamsport at home again tonight. We're taking on Catoctin. Clear Spring, a 2 0 start to their season. They're on the road tonight at Southern Anne Arundel. And North Hagerstown is down in Frederick taking on Thomas Johnson. All those games underway already when we started here tonight. The 7 o'clock kickoff. First down run here by Wells. Picks up about six yards on the play. And we'll have a second down and nine. Where we're to shift the formation to the left and Wells runs that way and nowhere for him to go. Wells left up at the line of scrimmage. Gets about a yard out to the 24. Gets out to the 24, gain of one, third and eight. Third down and eight. For the Railroaders. Two receivers out wide to the right for Houck. Back to throw. Pressure coming from behind him. Gets the pass off and unable to pull it in on the Boonesboro sideline is Jacob Genos. And Brunswick will have to punt it away again. Warriors getting good pressure here against a front line of the railroaders that looks uh, quite bigger than the uh, Boonesboro defensive line coach. Yes, I would agree with that. They've got some pretty nice size up there. Good blocking too on pickups like the, they had good penetration there and the guard came back and picked him up. Don't see that very often in high school football, so they're well coached. Let's kick right down the middle of the field. Takes a bounce towards the Brunswick sideline. Wyan backs away from that, lets it roll dead. Right at the 40 yard line and Boonesboro will take over there. 3.54 left in the first period here in Boonesboro. Boonesboro's had the advantage of good field position this whole quarter. We'll start in pretty decent shape here once again. And we were looking at the, the Boons for a roster before the game and looking at heights and only a handful of Boons for players at six feet tall or more. There's Telemco airing it out again. Has a man down there, but couldn't get under it. it was Gabriel Smith. Uh, Telemco took quite a shot as he was delivering the football. So I think that uh, probably threw it off a little bit. It's the first time Brunswick's really gotten pressure on his throws. Second and 10 from the 40.
tight formation, one receiver out to the left. And here's the pitch, taken down in the backfield. Is Parker the ball. Nowhere for him to go. It's Papa Baffo was there to take him down for the loss. And he came in almost untouched. Loss of seven on the play. He did a good job. We always teach the linemen because in wing T they pull the guards a lot. He followed the guard right to the spot. So third down and 17. Queensboro pushed back to their own 33. Mussolino in motion to Lemko. A little screen over the middle. Caught there by Parker the ball. He gets it out across the 40 to about the 43-yard line. Looks like we may have a flag down on the Boonesboro sideline. Take a look to see what it is. An eligible man downfield. So that's going to bring the play back. And mark it off five from the original line of scrimmage. So Boonesboro moving backwards here. Now back to their own 28. And it'll be a third and long, about 22 yards to go here for the first down. Third and 22. Now they're, okay, now they've moved it back. Brunswick declining the penalty. So the ball back up to the 33. We'll have a fourth down. Now where are they spotting it? Now they're spotting it at the 40. And I'm not quite another, sure. <laughs> not is there quite another sure penalty? Why. We're going to have a conference here, maybe. If Brunswick declined the penalty, the ball should be there spotting at the 42. I think the ball had originally made it out to the 43, so they're, they're closer now. Here's the snap over the head of the punter. Gets a kick off. After scrambling to get it, rolls inside the 35-yard line to about the 34. Heck of a job by the punter, <laughs> considering that. It's Gabriel Smith, the punter there. We take a look here. That He did a great job avoiding a major issue with field position there. Ball spot at the 34, first and 10 down. Did a nice job with a man right on him getting that kick away. So, two minutes, 31 seconds to go here in the first. And Brunswick is going to take a timeout here. One other game taking place here in Washington County this week, or involving a Washington County team, I should say, and that's on Saturday. St. James will be playing at Mount Carmel. The Saints getting in the win column last week, a 31-0 win over Kiskey School. You mentioned Clear Spring, starting the season at 2-0. 27-14 win over Green Street Academy last week. Just the third time in the Blazers' uh, history that they've started a season 2-0. 20th year of football at Clear Spring. Last time they did that was in 2015. Only once have they started 3-0, and that was back in 2011. 
And we were talking about that a little bit. You said that was that was back when you were coaching. That was when they had their best teams there at Clear yep. Spring. Yeah, they had uh, three really good years there in a row that uh, we competed with them. First down carry by Ben Wells gets about a yard. Ball at the 35 yard line as we're under two minutes now here in the first quarter. Doomsburg doing a pretty good job of keeping Wells in check thus far. The one big run he did have came back on a penalty. Now Houck throwing a bullet complete across the 40 to about the 45. And they're going to move the chains. A first down. That pass complete to Mark Cook. Just a quick release and, and such a tight throw and hard throw from the arm of Ethan Houck. I wouldn't want to get hit by that. <laughs> <laughs> First down for the railroads. Houck throwing again. Taken down in the backfield. Hayden Ritchie was the first one there, 24. Drops Hauk for a loss of about six yards all the way back to the 39 yard line. And a great job by Ritchie there, just beating his man. Yep, really nice pressure. Quarterback's got to do a little bit better job when he's getting that pressure to get down to his check downs. So a second down and 16 for Brunswick. Receiver in motion, two receivers out on either side now and the handoff goes to Wells. Not much room for him to run. One, two, three, four, five Warriors all around him as he picked up about a yard. I think they're keying him, Mark. <laughs> If you have to key on anybody, he'd probably be the guy. He would be the guy. Great team defense that we're seeing from the Warriors right now through one quarter. As we come to the end of the first, Boonesboro with a 7-0 lead over Brunswick. Stay with us. Second quarter action to come. High school football action brought to you by Hagerstown Honda and Hagerstown Kia. Are you tired of living with water that's causing rust stains, hard water spots, or other issues in your home? Water's supposed to make life easier and more comfortable, and we can help you experience the water you deserve. As your local authorized Hague dealer, we can tailor a water treatment solution to address your specific needs. We can make sure your laundry stays soft, your skin silky smooth, with a custom-designed water treatment conditioning system. Your whole home and family will benefit from the high-quality water you deserve. Call us today. Life's too short. Let Hagerstown Honda make you happy by putting you in the new Honda that you've always wanted, like the all-new redesigned Honda Accord, or the always dependable and fuel-efficient CRV, or the roomy and powerful Honda Pilot that seats up to eight people. Let Hagerstown Honda's helpful sales advisors pair you with the Honda that works best for you. Third down play, Hauk throwing incomplete. That one intended for Peyton Dean. And the Railroaders once again will have to punt this away with a fourth and long. Fourth down and about 15. Tonight's live coverage brought to you by SNL Water. At SNL Water, your water is our priority. For all of your water and plumbing needs, call SNL Water at 240-313-9190. That's 240-313-9190. SNL Water. Here's the punt taken by the Warriors. Wyand. There's a flag on the play. Wyand catching that punt. 
in some traffic and dragging a Brunswick defender along with him. It looks like an illegal use of the hands on Boonesboro on the return. So it's going to negate the return by Wyand. Move the Warriors all the way back to the 31 yard line. And they'll start there. I think this might be the worst field position that Boonesboro started with tonight. I believe so. Yeah, they've been. Uh... Telemco with a man in motion. And Telemco keeps it up the middle. A couple defenders on him. He drags them all the way out to the 35 yard line. Gains four yards on the play. Nice little quarterback draw there. Yeah, and he ran the ball hard. Good leg drive. Second and six. Chad Wyand in the backfield next to Telemco. Fakes the handoff to Wyand and now around the outside and down the Brunswick sideline. Russell, excuse me, Parker DeVall. I think we may have had a flag on the field. back around the 40 yard line and that's gonna bring this ball all the way back. Heck of a run by Parker the ball. Quarterback did a nice job concealing the ball too. So the 10 yard penalty. Ball will be spotted at the Warriors 31. Marked off from the spot of the foul. Brings it all the way back to the original line of scrimmage, the 31-yard line. So we'll have a second down and 10 now. Second and 10. Mason Murphy out wide to the right. To Lemko, the keeper again. Not as much room this time up the middle. Yeah, he got stuck pretty good there. <laughs> that's a couple of Brunswick. Defenders. Grant Brown, Mark Cook both in on that tackle for Brunswick. Gain of about a yard for Telemco and it's a third and nine for Boonesboro. Two receivers to Telemco's left. Man in motion, now Telemco rolls to the right. Looking downfield, has a man open across the middle. First down across midfield. Pass complete to number one. Dash Mussolino. Making the catch and the run into now Brunswick territory. Down at the 45 yard line. Nice little ball fake and roll there by Telemco. Very nice play. Say what, his accuracy has been excellent. It's not easy to make that throw rolling. New set of downs for Boonesboro. At the Brunswick 45. Here's the pitch to DeBall, nowhere to run. Papa Baffo making the tackle in the backfield. Loss of about five. That's his second big tackle for loss. Nice effort. Buffo, a big man on that front line for the Railroaders. Made his presence known a couple times here now. Second and 15, ball right at midfield. Telemco now rolling 
to his left. Puts one up into traffic. Intended for Logan Franz, incomplete, and it'll be a third and 15. Real nice play by the defensive back, knocking the ball away. Excellent coverage. Do another look at that here. Batted away by Luca Mosley of the Railroaders. Third and 15, Mussolino in motion. The pitch goes to him. Has a little bit of space, gets across midfield. Mussolino on the Taken down about the 46 yard line. So we'll have a fourth down and 11. Jesse Runkles, a nice open field tackle there. Fourth and 11, it'll be Gabriel Smith into punt. Hoping to pin Brunswick deep here. And he shanked that one off the side of his foot. Let's see where they spot that. They spot it right about the 40 yard line, so. I think this will be Brunswick's best starting field position of the evening, I believe. Seven minutes, 49 seconds to go here in the first half. Pretty fast moving first half thus far. Railroaders trying to get something going offensively here. Handoff is to Wells. Finally found a little bit of space to run. Takes out across the 45 to about the 47 yard line, gain of seven. For Ben Wells. Step through that one tackle and, and powered his way across the 45. Good looking running back. Second down and three at the 47. High snap, Hauk brings it down. Wells again has some more room. Gets into that second level and across the Boonesboro 40 yard line to about the 38. A couple of big runs in a row for Ben Wells. He's explosive. Nice job of keeping his feet there after taking a hit. But we mentioned the offense, those, those two players, Halk and Wells, they, they really did most of the work last week in a 35-0 win over Tuscarora. Halk threw a pair of touchdown pass, passes to Ben Wells, and then both Wells and Halk ran for another score each. Kind of seems that the Brunswick offense goes as how can Wells go. Yeah, it certainly looks that way. And kind of that way tonight. So Brunswick taking a timeout here with 622 to go in the second period. Good game so far here. Kind of what we expect, Coach. Absolutely. You can tell both teams are well coached. You know, they're making a few Penalties here and there that have cost him field position and maybe some scoring opportunities. But other than that, well coached, playing solid football on both sides of the ball on both teams. And kind of mentioned this, you know, kind of a, a long-standing rivalry between these these two teams. Uh, 56 meetings. And Boonesboro with a, you know, pretty handy advantage in the series. That, but it's always been a closely played series. Always competitive, pretty physical matchups. Right. So new set of downs here for Brunswick at the Boonesboro 38, first and 10. 
Hauk with a fake handoff. Rolls out. Nice pass and catch. There is a flag down. And a hold called against Brunswick. But that's just a great throw to Grant Brown. And you mentioned that last week with the quarterback play we saw, kind of putting that ball where nobody else can get it. Brown was yep. the only one that could get to that ball and out of bounds with it. Excellent placement. Unfortunate for the railroaders that the penalty negates that. Moving them all the way back to the 48 yard line. So it'll be first down and 20. Seven nothing, Boonesboro leads it. Hauk looking to throw out into the flat, complete to Wells. Takes it across the 35 yard line and slides down. I'll mark him down right at the 35. It's a nice little look and throw there and good job by Wells to pull that in. Yeah, that was a nice route, nice play. Second down and about seven at the 35. Play clock rolling down to five. Handoff is to Wells. Wells on the carry. Takes it down to about the 31 yard line. Initial contact by number 52, Samuel Atkinson. Sam Atkinson. Wells is a strong young man. He took two, two defenders, and he still gained, pushed him back a little bit. That's pretty, pretty impressive. Strong young man. Four-yard gain. Makes it a third down and about three. Under four and a half minutes to go here in the first half. Railroaders shift. Wells takes the pitch from Hauk. It's inside the 30 to about the 26. Should be enough for a first down. And they do move the sticks. And Wells doing that thing that all coaches like to see, falling forward. Always oh, falling forward, yep. Sign of a good back, and he's certainly a good back. Clock rolling 343 to go here in the second. New set of downs for Brunswick. It's Wells again. This time he's Wells. taken down behind the line of scrimmage. Dodson in there on the play again, number nine. Hayden Ritchie also in the mix. Illegal shift against the railroad. And a flag against Brunswick for an illegal shift. That's going to move them back five yards. And now Wells on the sideline. Not sure what happened there. May have been been a case where he just lost his helmet. Looked like he was hobbling a little bit. It doesn't look like he's, anybody's looking at him. Might be a little cramp. Looks like he's rubbing his leg, might be a cramp. And we'll keep an eye on that. Well, it's obviously an important part of this Brunswick offense. They start without him here now, second down and 10. A run up the middle. The nice push there by Jamison Godowski. Inside the 
Ball at the 22-yard line. Third down and about five. It's Godowski in the backfield. Halk back to throw. Pressure on him, gets the pass away, and it's complete. Enough for the first down. Completed to Luca Mosley. Quarterback did a nice job standing in there, making an accurate throw with a lot of pressure, right in his face. Taking a hit there as well. Russell Collier, Gabriel Smith on the tackle. As we come up to two minutes left here in the second quarter. Brunswick in the red zone now, first and 10 at the 15 yard line. Boonsboro leads at seven nothing. First down play and how keeps it up the middle. It's a bit of a load to bring down as well. He's yeah. not a small, <laughs> small kid back there. No, he absolutely is. Second down and four inside the 10 yard line now is Brunswick. And a whistle. Flag on the field. Flag down. And then Illegal procedure penalty against Brunswick, so move them back to the 14-yard line, just inside the 15. Clock running, just about a minute to go here in the first half. And now another whistle, timeout here called by the Warriors. Just taking a look down on the Brunswick bench. Do not see Ben Wells right now. Kind of looking for him in the crowd and not seeing him here, but uh, Coach, I don't think you can uh, downplay you know, his, his importance. We're seeing that, uh, you know, the couple explosive runs he had here on this drive and uh, certainly Brunswick uh, hoping to have him back here. Oh, absolutely. At least in the second half. Absolutely. He's a cornerstone of the offense, and uh, you don't want to lose that, that's for sure. We remind you again, tonight's live coverage here on Antietam Broadband brought to you by Hagerstown Honda and Hagerstown Kia, the dealers that make it easy, Hagerstown Kia and Honda wishing much success to the student athletes participating in tonight's game, the schools that they represent, and the surrounding communities. Appreciate the support from Hagerstown, Honda, and Kia, helping us bring you this live high school football coverage here on Antietam Broadband. Second down, Halk flushed out of the pocket, puts it up. Good defense by the Warriors. Parker DeBall there. Knocks that away from Nate Borowski. It's a great throw, good defense. Pressure coming from behind from Russell Collier. So a third down play here now, third down and nine. Ball at the 15 yard line. Under a minute to play. Brunswick looking to get on the board here before halftime. Hauk across the middle. Uh -huh. Contact, but no flag thrown. <laughs> I don't know about that one, Mark. That's where the ball was, and there was contact there before the ball got there. Well, Hauk's throw intended for Mark Cook. We'll get a look at the replay here. Might get a a chance to see it. Roscoe on the pick to the 
Obviously, the railroaders hoping for a call there, didn't get it. Timeout Warriors. And now Boonesboro are gonna take a timeout here as the railroaders set up to try a field goal. 39 seconds left here in the first half. This would be a 31 yard attempt by Sam Verasto. Let's see if we might have another look. Yeah, here we take another look at that last play. Looks like there was contact before the ball was there. The receiver thought so. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely did. Fourth and nine for the Railroaders. No replay, no challenges in high school football, so the play stands as it's called, and it'll be Sam Verasto in to attempt the 31-yard field goal. Verasto's kick up and through. So Brunswick on the board. The Warriors with a 7-3 lead over Brunswick with 34 seconds to go here in the first half. Pretty important coach for uh, for Brunswick to get on the board here before halftime. Oh, absolutely. That'll boost their spirits a little bit and give them a little momentum going at halftime. That big score. Brunswick struggled. They moved the ball good, but a lot of penalties. Brunswick will get the ball to start the second half. Boonesboro received the opening kickoff. So that playing into the Railroaders' favor as well. We appreciate you tuning in for our live coverage here on this beautiful Thursday night in Boonesboro. Catch replays of tonight's game. Plenty of them coming up for you. Friday night, September 15th at 8 p.m. Saturday and Sunday, September 16th and 17th. Two chances each of those days, 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. And then again, Monday and Tuesday, the 18th and 19th of September. Both of those replays at 8 p.m. Or you can watch them on demand by downloading the WCL-TV On The Go app. Short kickoff. Taken by the Warriors, Gabriel Smith. He brings it out across the 40 and taken down at about the 45 yard line with 25 seconds to go here in the first half. in the open field there by Michael Johnson. <laughs> 25 seconds here, we'll see if Kingsborough just runs out the clock or if they take a shot down the field. Mussolino in motion. Handoff goes up the middle to Wyand. He gets it across midfield and then pulled down there. He's gonna spot him at the 49 yard line. Clock continues to run and it looks like that will be the final play of the first half. Baffo in there on the tackle again and that does in the first half here for us in Boonesboro. The Warriors with a 7-3 lead over Brunswick. Tightly played game here in the first half. Glad to have you with us. We'll be back with the halftime report here from Boonesboro High School. Live high school football coverage brought to you by Hagerstown Honda and Hagerstown Kia. Stay with us.
Be road trip ready in your new Kia from Hagerstown Kia. Like the Kia Sorento, room for up to seven. Or the Kia Sportage with best-in-class cargo room. Or go big and bold with the Kia Telluride with room up to eight. Shop online at HagerstownKia.com or in person and let our sales consultants help you choose your next Kia. Serving our community proudly for over 25 years, we are Hagerstown Kia. Rentals Unlimited proudly sponsors events happening in our community. Give our experienced personnel a call or stop by one of our five locations for all your home improvement, residential, commercial, or industrial projects. We provide friendly and knowledgeable service you can depend on the first time and every time. Rentals Unlimited. We rent solutions. 1458 South Potomac Street in Hagerstown and online at rentalsunlimited.com. Join us at the Green Turtle in Hagerstown to watch your favorite sports teams on over 100 TVs. Serving all your favorites, including crab dip, wings, burgers, and wraps. Mention this ad and receive $5 off your entire bill. Is your sports team or organization looking for a fundraiser night? Ask about Funds for Friends and earn 20% back. The Green Turtle in Hagerstown. Call today, 301-745-8800. The physicians and physical therapy team at the Center for Advanced Orthopedics Parkway Division specialize in prevention, diagnosis, treatment, and rehabilitation of sports injuries. Our new facility is conveniently located near Interstate 70 and 81. We offer easy parking, on-site x-ray, and diagnostic tools, and we accept all major insurances, including Medicare. Our board-certified physicians and physical therapists specialize in sports injuries, joint replacement, hand surgery, and injections. Back to Boonesboro High School. So, uh, Boonesboro, uh, Mark, uh, you guys are playing catch me if you can football, I think. I mean, you guys are running really well. Uh, we're, we're doing our best. We're a run-oriented team. Um, came out and actually hit a couple passes early on. I don't think they were expecting that. Uh, but the run is our bread and butter, so we're doing our best to keep pounding the rock. Now, this is a much bigger team than you guys. How do you compensate for that? Uh, we knew coming in they are going to be bigger than us. Um, we got tough kids, small kids that work hard in the weight room, so we kind of prep them that they're going to be bigger than you. You just got to keep fighting, be the, the smaller dog in the fight. On the defensive side, uh, Ethan Hawk is considered one of the better quarterbacks in the area, but you guys are really put leash on him. What have you done? Uh, he is very good. So we've mixed up our defensive uh, adjustments of blitzes and, and coverage, slants and angles, stuff like that. Uh, Coach Seabright's got a great game plan going in and really keeping pressure on him, making him feel a little uncomfortable and getting rid of the ball early. All right. Well, good luck second right, half. Thank you. Appreciate yep. it. All right. Thanks a lot, Bob. Appreciate that. 7-3 is your halftime score. Boonesboro leading the Brunswick Railroaders. Mark Keller and uh, Coach Randy Longneck are here with you. And uh, 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 the, remind you, first off, that uh, tonight's live coverage is brought to you by Hagerstown Honda and Hagerstown Kia, the dealers that make it easy. Hagerstown Kia and Hagerstown Honda wish much success to the student-athletes participating in tonight's game the schools that they represent, and the surrounding communities. So, Coach, uh, Coach Wadle uh, touched on it a little bit there. You know, they're, they're a running team, but we saw you know, three straight throws that, re that, that got Boonesboro into the end zone there in that first quarter. Yeah, it brought right memories. They used to drive me nuts coaching against them because they are a run-oriented team, so you base your defense basically to stop that three-headed attack with those three backs attacking you, and then they come out and throw like that. Um, and you could see Tomlika, the uh, quarterback, did an excellent job. All of his throws were on point. The receivers ran nice routes. Go. So just because they're run dominant doesn't mean they don't know how to pass, and they demonstrated that in the first half. Yeah, I've seen a little bit of a few flashes of, of the run game there from Boonesboro, that, but that those three straight passes uh, that, that culminated uh, in a 27-yard touchdown pass uh, from Colin Telemco to Logan France uh, getting Boonesboro on top. Uh, in, in the first quarter, 7-0, 549 left in the first quarter when they scored that. And on the opposite side, you know, we, talk, we talked about Ethan uh, Houck and, and Ben Wells as well and, and uh, you know, that, that one-two punch that Brunswick has in that backfield. And, and the Boonsboro defense doing a really good job kind of keeping them in check and, until late in the, first, and in the first half. Well, it's like Coach Wadel said, they did really good game plan, putting a lot of pressure on the quarterback. They've been in this face the whole night. And they need to because that kid's got a quick release and a really strong arm. 
And as far as the backs, they're putting as many people in the box as they can, trying to take that running uh, back away. And they've done a really successful job. And every time Brunswick's had a nice play, they've kind of shot themselves in the foot with a penalty here and there. Yeah, don't have the exact count on the penalties. We may check with Bob on that. I know he's uh, keeping the stats down there on the field to see what the what the penalty situation is with Brunswick. But it does seem like uh, th those penalties have really kind of taken them out of any kind of offense. Yeah, player. and it's, it seems like most of it's motion penalties too for some reason. But uh, they'll probably try and address that at halftime, I'm sure. Yeah, we we so we talked about Ben Wells and and uh, uh, the the fullback for for Brunswick and and how important he is, and we saw him come out of the game late in the first half there with uh, with an apparent injury. Not sure. We did see him up on his feet uh, late in the uh, th that final drive there by Brunswick uh, on his feet, had his helmet on. So hoping we see him back here uh, in the second half because he is just such, obviously, such an important piece of that Brunswick offense. Oh, absolutely. You can tell everything's kind of evolves around him and the quarterback. So if you lose that piece, it, it's going to really uh, – hinder their offense quite a bit. So what did you see? Because we did see uh, the Boonesboro defense bottle up Wells uh, and, and keep Hauk in check as well, but they did start moving the ball late in the in the first half there. What did you see different from the Brunswick offense? Was it something uh, on, the, on the front line, or was it just things starting to open up a little bit? Well, I think they made a few adjustments even uh, between uh, sets with the ball because I had mentioned to you there uh, during our little break that the swing passes were open, and then on that last drive, they start to hit the swing passes because they're putting the linebackers in to take away the running attack so they're not getting out to the, as wide as quickly as they might like. So, And then with Wells, they were starting to run a little bit off tackle a little more instead up the middle. So that they kind of spread a little bit. I'd probably look in the second half, may see a little more pitching, get it out on the edge a little bit to spread Brun, uh, Boonesboro out a little bit. Let's talk about the Boonesboro offense because uh, it was it was a little bit the opposite for for them. They they moved the ball well in the in the first half, and then things started to slow down a little bit. Uh, we started to see uh, some of those Brunswick linemen, uh, uh, Bafo in particular, getting into the backfield, breaking through the line, making plays behind the line of scrimmage. What does Boonesboro need to do to sort of uh, shore things up up front and and make some room for those backs? Well, I think they need to make the adjustment. Brunswick does a real, really good job with Bosco following the guard when they're pulling. So they may want to leave the guard and just pitch on the outside. So they can, the wing tee gives a flexibility to do that. So you may see the guard stop pulling the, so they got, he's eating them up in the backfield. <laughs> he's playing it really well. So you might see some more pitches. Uh, we haven't seen a counter yet. That's going to be effective. Actually, either team that would run a counter in the second half because both teams are flying to the football. So if they put that in, that it's open on that backside all night. Or if the back takes a, cuts in and cuts back it's they've got some room to run in there let's let's talk a little bit about uh, uh colin telemco the, the boonsboro quarterback because we did touch on uh on it early on that that boonsboro obviously a run first team always have been probably always will be yep. uh but he, he did look good throwing the ball and he did nice job rolling nice little uh moves to to make room for himself in the, in the pocket and to get outside the pocket and get the ball away they've got a really good scheme because he what they're doing so he gets time they're flowing like because they pitch enough and they run enough you've got to key that first so and then he comes reverse side and like you said mark really nice accurate throws even to his left, he was accurate, and that is very hard to throw across your body like that. I, I've been impressed with the young man. He's done a really nice job. He squares his shoulders up nice, and he's got a very accurate throw. Even the one down here where the defensive back knocked it away, he kind of airmailed it, and he still dropped it right in the bucket. So <laughs> impressive first half for him. This has been a fun game. You know, we were talking a little bit before, uh, before the, the halftime break here. We don't get very many defensive <laughs> games like this, a 7-3 game at halftime. But it's a lot of fun. It's it's a it's a well played game minus the penalties. Yes, you would see a few penalties than a few more penalties than you're going to see from Brunswick here. But really, a well played game and a nice good defensive game. It's it's a fun one to watch. Oh, I, absolutely. For the fan perspective and the coach perspective, I I appreciate. It. I've been up here just catching myself, uh, watching the tackling, the technique, the line play, uh, the steps that they're using to get to the spots they need to. Just. A lot of nice coaching out here. I, I, kudos to both teams. Both teams are sound. They're ready to play. Uh, they've got nice athletes at skill positions. The offensive and defensive lines have been very sound. Yeah, I, I've been impressed. Uh, it's been a fantastic game so far. 7-3, Boonesboro leads it here at halftime. Both teams coming into this one unbeaten. 
you can tell they both want to uh, <laughs> leave here unbeaten, but only one of them will, right? A absolutely. <laughs> well, stay with us. We'll have second half action coming up after this break. Live high school football action here on Antietam Broadband, brought to you by Hagerstown Honda and Hagerstown Kia. Stay with us. Life's too short. Let Hagerstown Honda make you happy by putting you in the new Honda that you've always wanted, like the all-new redesigned Honda Accord, or the always dependable and fuel-efficient CRV, or the roomy and powerful Honda Pilot that seats up to eight people. Let Hagerstown Honda's helpful sales advisors pair you with the Honda that works best for you. From the dealer that's making it easy, Hagerstown Honda. Are you tired of living with water that's causing rust stains, hard water spots, or other issues in your home? Water's supposed to make life easier and more comfortable, and we can help you experience the water you deserve. As your local authorized Hague dealer, we can tailor a water treatment solution to address your specific needs. We can make sure your laundry stays soft, your skin silky smooth, with a custom-designed water treatment conditioning system. Your whole home and family will benefit from the high-quality water you deserve. Call us today. From Hagerstown, Kia. Kia. Be road trip ready in your new Kia from Hagerstown Kia. Like the Kia Sorento, room for up to seven. Or the Kia Sportage with best in class cargo room. Or go big and bold with the Kia Tell You Ride with room up to eight. Shop online at HagerstownKia.com or in person and let our sales consultants help you choose your next Kia. Serving our community proudly for over 25 years, we are Hagerstown Kia. You need to fire her. I can't fire her. She has a disability. What? No, I don't. That's the reason why I hired you. Red No Hard Feelings now. What you got in there? Something for me? You can't outrun the car. I can't lose my license. No Hard Feelings. Rent it now. Rated R. Video customers, tune to Channel One to get started. Entrepreneurs have molded our county, our country, and our world. That's why Antietam Broadband is proud to announce our Innovation Fund to help Washington County entrepreneurs start up, grow, or sustain their business. Antietam Broadband will invest a total of $1 million to help local entrepreneurs bring their dream one step closer to reality and to support growth and expand opportunities in our community. To learn more about the Innovation Fund, visit AntietamBroadband.com. Back here at Boonesboro High School, getting set for the second half of this high school football game. The Boonesboro Warriors leading the Brunswick Railroaders 7-3 at the half. Boonesboro started the scoring, as we mentioned, a 27-yard touchdown pass from Colin Talemko to Logan Fronts. Carlos Pazos adding the extra point to give Boonesboro a 7-0 lead in the first quarter. Brunswick got their offense going late in the first half. Backed up by, backed up by penalties a couple of times, but uh, eventually getting a 31-yard field goal by Sam Verasto to get them on the board just before halftime to give us that 7-3 score. Tonight's local coverage brought to you by the Centers for Advanced Orthopedics, Parkway Division. They specialize in sports injuries, joint replacement, hand surgery, injections, and more. Call the Centers for Advanced Orthopedics at 301-665-4575. Make your appointment today. 301-665-4575. Couple of scores from around Washington County. They're involving Washington County teams. Don't have reports on all, but what we do have, Smithsburg leading Century 16 to six. Catoctin, a 27-20 lead on Williamsport. Thomas Johnson with a 27-6 lead over North Hagerstown. No report on 
South Hagerstown. No report on Clear Spring at this point. Keep trying to find those for you. And of course, big news coming yesterday, Wednesday, out of South Hagerstown. And that was the resignation of head coach Dave Lawrence. I mean, as a surprise to many, surprise to most, I would imagine, coach. Uh, not, not too often do we hear of uh, coach resigning, uh, you know, during a season and certainly not this early in the season, but uh, uh, Coach Dave Lawrence stepping down as, as head coach there at South Hagerstown. And, and, uh, and uh, you know, Lawrence had done a, a, a really nice job of uh, kind of continuing uh, what, uh, what Toby Peer had started, uh, you know, that kind of resurgence at South Hagerstown. And, uh, you know, he kind of kept things going, had a 27 and 20 record uh, over five plus seasons. Uh, there at South Hagerstown, and uh, a little bit of surprise to see that uh, see that news yesterday. Very surprising. Jawan Sandridge taking over as the interim head coach for the Rebels for the remainder of the 2023 season, and after tonight, South Hagerstown will be traveling to. St. James to play the St. James Saints, and that's where Jawan Sandridge was once the head coach. <laughs> Interesting. We'll see how things play out there in that one next week. We've got another football game for you next week, Friday, September 22nd. We'll be back at Williamsport High School to see the Clear Spring Blazers taking on the Wildcats as we're underway here in the second half. Kickoff taking, taken at the 10 yard line and out across the 20 are the Railroaders. Really nice kickoff coverage by the Boonesboro Warrior team, kickoff team. Gonna mark it about the 26. So Boons, or Brunswick, excuse me, will start at the uh, at their own 26 yard line. First down and 10. And as the Railroaders take the field, we see that Ben Wells is back in the backfield for the Railroaders. Good news for them. And we'll see if there's any sign of an injury slowing him. First down. How keeps it out across the 30 yard line and dragged down at about the 33 yard line. I think we saw a first little adjustment there. They let the flow go with Wells and the quarterback kept it. Pick up of about seven yards. We'll call it second down and three or a long two. How keeps it once again. Not much on that one. Hayden Ritchie, Graham McLean in on the tackle for Boonesboro. How gets it out to about the 35 yard line. It'll be third down and one. Big play early on here in the second half for Brunswick. Hauk with the give to Wells, gets the first down. He's out across the 40 yard line to about the 42. And a couple Boonesboro players down on the field here now after that run by Wells. Not quite sure what happened there. He just kind of went down. One of those players is up and moving one still down on the field. Don't have the number now. We see 58. Graham McLean 
the injured player up and running off the field on his own. So looks like he should be okay. Early stages of the second half here. Brunswick on the move. First down at their own 42. Trailing Boonesboro seven to three. Hout calls the man in motion. And now the handoff goes to Wells. Breaks one tackle and drags a couple more Warriors with him out across midfield into Boonesboro territory and close to a first down. Really impressive run there by Wells. 11 yards on the carry, it is a first down. And he broke that tackle and has one, two, three players around him and just kept those legs moving. Good looking back. The Railroaders on the move here. Inside Boonesboro territory now at the Warriors 47. First and 10. Houck has three receivers to his right, hands it to Wells. Breaks a tackle, he's in the 30. Across the 25 to the 20 and finally taken down at about the 19 yard line, another big run for Ben Wells. He's a load and he gets into that secondary. Whew. And Brunswick up to the line quickly. And Boonesboro is going to call a timeout here to slow things down. The coach, are you seeing the same, that same adjustment there? You mentioned adjustment on that first play. Are you seeing it, the same, same things here on these runs? Yep. Well, they came out in that first play, and I think Boonesboro saw what they were doing. They were misdirection with the quarterback. Wells went one way, quarterback the other way. That was leaving them vulnerable, so now they're keeping those backers in a little bit. Now that gives him the off-tackle play a little bit. A little, that's what's great about football, chess match between the two coaching staffs. And I tell you, no arm tackle will bring a Wells down, that's for sure. <laughs> so another first down here for Brunswick inside the 20-yard line. We'll call it the 19. Houck still working out of the shotgun. Wells beside or behind him. And three receivers out to the right. Houck looking to throw. Puts it up, had a man, but just overthrew him. Pass is it was intended for Peyton Dean, just a little too high for him. Well, that pressure off the edge made him throw a little quicker than he wanted to, so the timing was off on that. Their blitz package has been real, real successful. I see he's there before he even gets set. And Dean was open. Yeah, there was nobody around him. That pressure, I think, safe six. Second down and 10. Call it the Boonesboro, 19. Hout brings the man in motion. Fakes the hand off the Wells, completes it. Down to about the 10 yard line. They're gonna mark him just shy of the 10. Nate Borowski. Little screen to the slot man. Nice play, set up nice. So third down now and about a yard. Ball at the 10 yard line. Hard count from Hauk. And now looking to the sideline for the play. And a timeout now taken by Brunswick. 8.46 to go. Here in the third quarter and the Railroaders here, first possession of the 
third quarter looking pretty good so far, Coach. Uh, real nice drive. If you're Brunswick, this is what you want coming out. You got the nice field goal at the end of the first half, carried that momentum in a halftime, carrying it on here in the third quarter. And now on the Boonsboro side, what are you doing to adjust defensively to these, uh, these adjustments that Brunswick's made? Well, you're trying to keep the linebackers alert, trying to shoot those gaps. And you got to really talk to your guys. They can't arm tackle. And that could be a little bit of fatigue factor here in the second half, a little bit. Third for the Warriors, yes. That tackling wasn't quite as crisp there so far on this series. Third down and one for Brunswick. Ball at the Boonesboro 10 yard line. Hauk under center. Hands it off to Wells. He's oh, stuck man. in the backfield. What a hit. <laughs> Big play by Russell Collier. 22, Collier breaks it up in the backfield. We'll take another look at that. And he came all the way from the backside. Untouched, stopping Wells for no gain. And it looks like Brunswick is going to go for it here. Hauk is in there, three receivers. Go out wide to the left. One receiver to the right. Wells in the backfield with Hauk. Hauk looking to throw. Pressure on him. He throws it up. It's caught. Oh, man. And into the end zone for a touchdown. A desperation throw from Ethan Hauk. And Jacob Genos comes down with it. For a 10 yard touchdown. It was Collier in there again with the pressure. That's a great play by the receiver coming to the ball. And it'll be Verasto in for the extra point. Snap is back, hold is down, kick is up, and it's good. Brunswick now with a 10-7 lead over Boonesboro. 7-14 to go here in the third quarter. Stay with us. More to come from Boonesboro. High school uh, football coverage brought to you by Hagerstown Honda and Hagerstown Kia. If I'm the mayor of this town, I'd still be driving around in a Kia from Hagerstown Kia. Be road trip ready in your new Kia from Hagerstown Kia. Like the Kia Sorento, room for up to seven. Or the Kia Sportage with best in class cargo room. Or go big and bold with the Kia Telluride with room up to eight. Shop online at HagerstownKia.com or in person and let our sales consultants help you choose your next Kia. Serving our community proudly for over 25 years, we are Hagerstown Kia. Join us at the Green Turtle in Hagerstown to watch your favorite sports teams on over 100 TVs. Serving all your favorites, including crab dip, wings, burgers, and wraps. Mention this ad and receive $5 off your entire bill. Is your sports team or organization looking for a fundraiser night? Ask about Funds for Friends and earn 20% back. The Green Turtle in Hagerstown. Call today, 301-745-8800. Welcome back to Boonesboro High School. Brunswick with now with a 10-7 lead over Boonesboro. 7.56 to go here in the third quarter. Sam Verasto with another squib kick, taking it about the 28-yard line. And down in the pile is Gabriel Smith at about the 37-yard line. And the Warriors will take over there. A big play for Brunswick on a fourth and one as Hauk completes the desperation pass to Jacob Genos for 11 yard touchdown. And coach, you said it, Boonesboro defended. They did everything yeah. right on that play. It was just a quarterback and a receiver making a great play. Here's Telemco on first down, completes the pass right around midfield. Parker Duvall, nice throw from Colin Telemco. Ball will be spotted at the Brunswick 49. That's a Warrior first down. First down, a pickup of 
about 18 on the play. The ball taking a big hit there on the sideline, but holding on to the ball. And Boonesboro on their first offensive play of the second half comes out firing. Here's first and 10 from the Brunswick 49. Handoff goes to Wyan. He's stacked up at about the 46 yard line. It'll be a gain of two. They move it back to the 47. Two yard gain for Chad Wyand. Boonesboro doing a really nice job mixing up their plays. So second and eight. And the motion is the ball. The pitch goes to him on the ground. The ball covers it though. To Lemko leading the ball just a little too far with that pitch. And he did get back to the line of scrimmage. So no gain on the play. And we've got a third down and eight. for Boonesboro. Mussolino in motion. Telemco looking downfield, has a man. Just couldn't pull it in. Just out of the reach of Logan Franz. And it'll be a fourth down and eight. Not a bad throw at all here for Telemco just a little too far for Franz. Had him open. Sure did. Smith in the punch for the Warriors. So the ball at the Dean, Brunswick 47. Back. It'll be Gabriel Smith in the punt. A line drive right down the middle of the field. And it stops dead at the 14-yard line. So nice job by Smith there to pin the Railroaders back. And they'll start this one deep in their own end. 5.49 to go. Brunswick with a 10-7 lead over the Boonesboro Warriors. And there's a flag on the play. False start and procedure penalty. So they are going to mark this off against the Warriors. We'll take them back into their own territory. About the 48. And Smith will have to re-kick. Smith in to redo this kick. And he kicks on this one a little deeper, doesn't get the bounce this time. Comes back out to about the 20 yard line and rolls dead there. So still pretty good flip of the field there by the Warriors. Absolutely. The Railroaders will start here at their own 20. Boonesboro's definitely had the better end of it as far as field position tonight. So we've seen some life from the Brunswick offense late in the first half and rolling into the second here. We'll see if they keep it going here now. And starting from their own 20. First and 10, the handoff to Wells. Gets through across the 25, close to the 30-yard line. Mark him down at about the 29, so a nine-yard gain on first down for Wells. Doing a nice job. They're bringing that guard over and kicking out. He just cuts up inside of it. Nice job. And coach, we haven't even mentioned tonight number 75 out there for Brunswick. No, we really haven't. <laughs> Biggest man on the field. I don't know how we haven't mentioned him yet. Andrew Rakoski. 
left tackle for the Railroaders. There's half wide open on first down. Inside the 30, the 20, oh. dragged down, tripped up. Is Peyton Dean. Big play. Half to Dean. Deep into Boonesboro territory. A great effort by number one on defense. Dash Mussolino just tripping up Peyton Dean after the big gain. Down to about the Boonesboro 12 yard line. And Brunswick with a first and 10 there. And now we're gonna have a timeout called by Brunswick with 4.18 to go here in the third quarter. But just mentioned uh, Andrew Rakoski there, uh, coach number 75 for Brunswick. He's got NFL size oh. for sure, six foot seven. 330 pounds. That's not something you see at high school level very often. No, and it's not a bad looking 300 some <laughs> pounds either. <laughs> Big man on the left side of the Brunswick line. I think the last guy we've had in the area um, with that kind of size was a young man that played for Clear Spring. Uh, I'm forgetting his name. Ah. Joey Fisher? Joey Fisher, yes. Joey Fisher. Also with NFL size. Yep. Mm. Was a non drafted free agent signee this, uh, this year with the San Francisco 49ers. The first down run, the keeper by Hauk moves the ball inside the 10 yard line. Atkinson and company in on the tackle. Spotted at about the eight yard line. Four yard gain, it'll be second down and six. Railroaders with a 10-7 lead and looking to add to it here. Play clock down to five. Wells goes in motion. Hauk keeping it again, has pressure from behind. Tripped up, down close to the goal line and called it the touchdown. Ethan Hauk on the keep and there is a flag down. And it is called against Brunswick, a holding penalty. See the flag there right around the nine yard line. So that's going to move the ball back. See if we can see it happen here. Not sure if it was there. I guess it must have been. There's an adjustment that I was talking about too. Mark at halftime, they took the back, ran him to the side, defense went with it, and he ran back side. Nice play. So the officials first spotting that at the 22 yard line, now moving it back up to the 19. Second and about 15. So a second and long here. Uh, oh. Hawk across the middle, had the man, just overthrew him. Mark Cook was the receiver. And he had a step. Yeah, you need to put a little air under that one and uh, he'd have had him. Yeah, Cook another one with some size there. A little more touch on that pass from Hauk and might have been six there. 
third and long. Houck back to throw, pressure on him again. Lofts it up into the end zone. This time he finds Cook for the touchdown. 19 yards. Ethan Houck to Mark Cook. And Brunswick now up 16 to seven. Take another look, coach. What air under it this time. <laughs> sure did, just like you said. Perfect. And Cook once again with a step on the defender and into the end zone. Very nice play. And again, Ben's brought really great pressure on him. He's, he stays in the pocket nice. Ferrasto for the extra point. It is up. It is good. Three minutes, seven seconds to go here in the third period. Brunswick now with a 10-point lead. 17-7 over Boonesboro. Stay with us. More to come. High School Football brought to you by Hagerstown Honda and Hagerstown Kia. Our family relies on the internet every day. We both work from home at times, so our Wi-Fi just has to be there. We learn with it, laugh with it, and count on it for all kinds of things in our home. Your family depends on strong internet and Wi-Fi. That's why Antietam Broadband provides fast internet speeds and reliable Wi-Fi to meet your needs every day. Flight Fiber is now available in Sharpsburg. Call 301-797-5000 now to sign up. When you need someone who will come through no matter what, someone who will go the extra mile, Cumberland Valley Heating and Air specializes in the installation of residential and commercial heating and air solutions. 24-7 emergency service delivers our promise of getting you the help you need when you need it. We're the tri-state experts in heating, air conditioning, and above all, comfort. Cumberland Valley Heating and Air. It's hard to stop a train. Kickoff, squibbed again to the Warriors. Taken down at about the 30 yard line. 17-7 lead for the Brunswick Railroaders here over Boonesboro. 17 straight points for the Railroaders here after Boonesboro got on the board first tonight. The Warriors now starting at their own 30. Trying to reverse the momentum here a little bit. First and 10 to Lemko, handoff to the right side. Getting back to the line of scrimmage, maybe a yard. There's Chad Wyan. Good defense there. <clears throat> Brunswick cheering section getting a little more vocal over here on this side in front of us. That's a little counter play. I thought that would go. Second down and nine. Telemco back to throw. Pressure coming behind him into coverage and incomplete. Intended for the ball. Two defenders over there for the Railroaders. Dangerous pass there by Telemco. Yeah, I don't think you read that double coverage. So third down and nine. For Boonesboro, looking to get something going offensively here. Wyan goes in motion, Telemco rolling to his right. He's gonna keep it, tucks it in, gets out close to the 40. If he stayed in bounds, he may have gotten the first down. He had to get to about the 40 yard line. We'll see where they spot it. That's a warrior, first down. And they do give him the first down. They're doing it. Colin Telemco, a nine yard gain there on third down. It moves the chains, 
resets things to first down. First and 10, Boonesboro at their own 40 yard line. Two minutes to go here in the third. Telemco looking to throw, pressure on him, coming from Bafo. Gets the pass off, completed. Pass complete to number one, Mussolino. Dash Mussolino. Down to the Brunswick 40. All the way down to the Brunswick 40. It's a 20 yard gain to Lemco, to Mussolino, but there is a flag down. An eligible man downfield for Boonesboro, so that'll we race the play. He raced the first down. Got a nice throw by the quick QB. He looks very comfortable throwing the ball on the run. He really does. Does it very, very well. So a five yard penalty moves it back to the Boonesboro 35. And we'll have a first and 15. Warriors need to get to midfield to get the first down. Talenko swings it out to the left side. The ball gets away from one tackler, but not the second one. Loses a yard on the play. Back to the 34 yard line. A nice tackle there by Jesse Runkles. Really well defended. Second down and 16 now, as we're inside a minute to go here in the third quarter. Telemco out to the right side, taken down in the backfield. Doran Charles bringing him down for a loss of about three yards. It'll be third down and about 17. Got a loss of two on the play. Clock still rolling. Play clock and the game clock almost matching. Boonesboro will have to run a play here. Here's the pitch to DeBall, trying to get around the left side, not able to do so. He does move it out to about the 40 yard line. Out of bounds. Officials conferring here. There's a holding penalty against Boonesboro. And Brunswick is going to decline that, so it will be fourth down and 10. And that is going to do it for the third quarter here at Boonesboro. Stay with us. More to come from Boonesboro High School fourth quarter action. Brought to you by Hagerstown Honda and Hagerstown Kia. Life's too short. Let Hagerstown Honda make you happy by putting you in the new Honda that you've always wanted, like the all-new redesigned Honda Accord, or the always dependable and fuel-efficient CRV, or the roomy and powerful Honda Pilot that seats up to eight people. Let Hagerstown Honda's helpful sales advisors pair you with the Honda that works best for you from the dealer that's making it easy, Hagerstown Honda. When choosing internet and Wi-Fi service to meet your family's education needs, it pays to do your homework. You'll learn that Antietam Broadband, with fast, reliable speeds up to 2.5 gig and unlimited data, powered by Antietam Smart Wi-Fi, is the right choice. Back at Boonesboro High School, Gabriel Smith punting it away for Boonesboro. Line drive kick right down the middle of the field. It's bobbled and covered by Brunswick, and they will take over inside their own 25-yard line. Tonight's live coverage of high school football brought to you by S&L Water. At S&L Water, your water 
is our priority. For all of your water and plumbing needs, call SNL Water at 240-313-9190. That's 240-313-9190. SNL Water Solutions. Appreciate their support of local sports coverage here on Antietam Broadband. We're happy to have you with us here tonight. Mark Keller and Coach Randy Longneck are with you. Seeing a good one here tonight. Brunswick leading Boonesboro 17-7. Brunswick starting with a first down. Right around their own 24-yard line. First down run by Wells. He's bottled up for a short game. Wells on the carry, brought down by 24, Richie. Spotting him for a loss of about a yard. Really nice job, Richie, with the linebacker came through the hole nicely. Second down and 11. Man in motion, a high snap, and it's dropped. And it looks like Boonesboro recovers. They do. Graham McLean coming up with the fumble recovery for Boonesboro. And that's one they needed, Coach. Yep. A big break here for Boonesboro. That's definitely what they were looking for. The high snap to Halk. Had the jump to bring it down. Tried to get the handoff to Peyton Dean and was just a little late getting it there. Dean was already past him. And McLean there to cover it. So Boonesboro now starting this drive in the red zone. First and 10 at the Brunswick 18 to Lemko. Swing pass to the left to DeBall inside the 10 yard line. Still on his feet to about the seven. That's gonna be a first down. 11-yard gain to Lemko to DeBall. Really nice run. Good spin move on the end of that. A great job there by Telemco as well, Coach, to sell downfield. He kept his eyes downfield oh. and then hit the swing pass to DeBall. Nice job. Yep, he's been very impressive tonight. Here's Telemco rolling to his right again. Little oh, pass. Oh, nice. Inside the five yard line to about the two, Dash Mussolino with the catch. And there again, Mark uh, Tlinko sold the run, got to the line and tossed it. Very nice play. Got that off, knew he was gonna get hit too. Yep. Got the pass off, Mussolino with the catch. Second and goal from the two. Warriors threatening here, down 17-7 in the fourth quarter. Another pass from Talenko, complete to Logan France for the touchdown. Number 44, Logan France. Very well done, very well done. Boonesboro breaks the scoring drought. And I guess that's what happens when you're known as a run team. It opens things up for the pass. Yeah, Absolutely. Play action. Carlos Pazos on for the extra point. Low kick, but it is good. Boonesboro cuts the deficit to three points. It's 17-14 Brunswick. Stay with us. More fourth quarter action to come after this high school football action brought to you by Hagerstown Honda and Hagerstown Kia. Marching band, please. Voltage Wrestling is coming to Antietam Broadband. The action and excitement of Voltage Wrestling on Washington County Living, Channel 6 and 806. 
the physicians and physical therapy team at the Center for Advanced Orthopedics Parkway Division specialize in prevention, diagnosis, treatment, and rehabilitation of sports injuries. Our new facility is conveniently located near Interstate 70 and 81. We offer easy parking, on-site x-ray, and diagnostic tools, and we accept all major insurances, including Medicare. Our board-certified physicians and physical therapists specialize in sports injuries, joint replacement, hand surgery, and injections. Pazos' kick taken inside the five-yard line. Nate Borowski with the return, taken down right around the 20-yard line. And Brunswick once again starting deep in their own territory. Well, we haven't had turnovers in this game until that one, and boy, it was a big one for the Warriors, Coach. Sure was, very opportune time for Boonesboro. Brunswick starts at their own 19-yard line. Handoff is to Ben Wells. Three Warriors with a hand on him, bringing him down for a gain of a about three yards. We'll make it second down and seven. Hayden Ritchie there on the tackle. A couple other Warriors as well. Spotted at the 23, so it's second and six. Main in motion is Cook, now resets on the other side of the line. Handoff goes to Wells again. He has room this time. Out close to the 40-yard line before he's stopped. Mussolino behind him. Logan Atkinson in front. Just shy of the 40-yard line, about the 39. Gain of about 16 for Ben Wells and a first down for Brunswick. Been their go to tonight on that uh, wide side of the field. Hauk hands off to Wells. Big hit put on him by Trevor Sowers after picking up about five yards. Taken down at the 44 yard line. Take another look at that big stick here from Sowers. Russell Collier in on the tackle as well. Officials pulling a timeout. Wells sent off the field, maybe some blood. Yeah. So he'll have to come out and. Get that taken care of. Jamison Godowski takes his place in the backfield. Hauk looking to throw. Now tucks it and keeps it. Gets across midfield and more. Taken down at about the 42 yard line, but another Brunswick penalty. A holding call. back in the backfield. And this is gonna move Brunswick well back. It's gonna take them all the way back to about the 28 yard line once they've stepped this off. Well, we place at the 34. Second about 15. He marked it off to the 34. Flag was misplaced. So second down and 15. At the 34. Brunswick needing to get to the 49 yard line for the first down. Hauk under pressure, rolls out to the right. 
has a man open, and it's complete. Out of bounds is Jacob Genos. Up at about the Boonesboro 42 yard line. 24 yard gain on the play. Receiver adjusted his route when he saw his quarterback was in trouble. It's a nice play. Seven minutes, 11 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. Brunswick leads it by three. Handoff is to Godowski. Has some room to run into the secondary. That's Wells in for the touchdown. Well, I thought that was Godowski in there. Wells had snuck back into the game <laughs> and sneaks into the end zone as well. 42 yard touchdown run for Ben Wells. Really nice how he set up his blockers. And nice, nice, nice play. 7 0 1 left to go in the fourth quarter. Rosto with the kick, makes it a 10-point game. Brunswick now with a 24-14 lead. More to come here from Boonesboro High School. Live coverage brought to you by Hagerstown Honda and Hagerstown Kia. Be road trip ready in your new Kia from Hagerstown Kia. Like the Kia Sorento, room for up to seven. Or the Kia Sportage with best in class cargo room. Or go big and bold with the Kia Telluride with room up to eight. Shop online at HagerstownKia.com or in person and let our sales consultants help you choose your next Kia. Serving our community proudly for over 25 years, we are Hagerstown Kia. Are you tired of living with water that's causing rust stains, hard water spots, or other issues in your home? Water's supposed to make life easier and more comfortable, and we can help you experience the water you deserve. As your local authorized Hague dealer, we can tailor a water treatment solution to address your specific needs. We can make sure your laundry stays soft, your skin silky smooth, with a custom-designed water treatment conditioning system. Your whole home and family will benefit from the high-quality water you deserve. Call us today. Back at Boonesboro High School, seven minutes, one second left here in the fourth quarter. The Railroaders with a 24-14 lead over the homestanding Warriors. Another squib kick here. Taking it about the 33-yard line. Trying to get around the left side. There's Russell Collier. He does bring it all the way out to about the 43-yard line. Not a bad return for a squib kick like that. Good field position again for Boonesboro. That's where the Warriors start first and 10. Well, Coach, I was just going to say, before the touchdown run by Ben Wells, how important it was for, for Boonesboro to get a stop there uh, on that possession with, with just trailing by just three. And then now you got a two-point two possession game. You're under seven minutes. What does Boonesboro need to do here to get some points quickly? Well, a little more urgency and... That's a good start right there. Say so maybe <laughs> some of that, right? <laughs> to Lemko completing the pass down the right side to Dash Mussolino. This keeps up. We're going to have to call him Air Wadle, Coach Wadle. <laughs> Take another look here, Coach. Yeah, nice little catch and run there by Mussolino. And just like that, Boonesboro is in Brunswick territory. Now they're going to place it up to 40. Right at the Brunswick 40 yard line. First and 10. Clock running down to 620. Handoff is to Wyand. He stood up there after a pickup of. 
maybe three yards. It's like second and a long seven. Under six minutes to go now. Mussolino coming from the left side, takes it up the middle. He's wrapped up and taken down. Grant Brown there losing his helmet on the play. He'll have to come out for a play because of that. Well spotted at about the 37-yard line. Short gain on the play, third down and seven now. As we approach the five-minute mark to Lemko, swing pass to DeBall. Across the 35 to the 30 for the first down. Inside the 20-yard line, Parker DeBall. 32 to DeBall on the reception. Down inside the 20 to the 19. That's the Warrior first down. That swing pass is working for the Warriors. It really is. Take another look. They're running off that corner and just running underneath it with the uh, back. Nice block downfield. Timeout, Brunswick. And Brunswick's going to take a timeout here with 4.42 to go. And we appreciate you tuning in for our live coverage of high school football here on Antietam Broadband, Channel 6 and 806, if you're watching online as well. Appreciate you tuning in and appreciate our sponsors tonight. Brought to you by SNL Water at SNL Water. Your water is our priority. For all of your water and plumbing needs, call SNL Water at 240-313-9190. That's 240-313-9190. You can catch replays of our broadcast here tonight coming up over the next few days. Friday, September 15th at 8 p.m. Saturday and Sunday, September 16th and 17th, 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. both times those days. And then Monday and Tuesday, September 18th and 19th at 8 p.m. We've got more live football coming to you next Friday, September 22nd. We'll be back at Williamsport High School for Clear Spring and Williamsport. Here's a throw from Telemco into the end zone. Incomplete. Aiden Jackson was the intended receiver there. It's a nice effort by the receiver. It's a little short. Telemco backing up, throwing that. It's right through his arms. That's a tough catch. It really is. Tavunko rolling under pressure, gets away from it. Looking for a man and it's intercepted. Intercepted in the end zone by Baramo Baffo. That's a heck of a play by the quarterback, getting it open. Nice throw from Telemco, just the receiver wasn't there. The receiver going to the back of the end zone. And that was Fronts. He's been Good job one of by Telemco's the, favorite, favorite targets. Good job by the defensive back reacting to the pass. So Baffo with the interception in the end zone. That brings the ball out to the 20 yard line for Brunswick, 424 left and the Railroaders with a 10 point lead. And something tells me we're gonna see a lot of Ben Wells here, Coach. I would say. Handoff is to Wells. Wells on the carry, flag on the field. Flag down on the play. Wells gets back to the line of scrimmage. It'll be a holding call against the Railroaders. So it's going to back them up further. So 
It was a gain of one. But the penalty flag takes the Railroaders back 10 yards to their own 10 yard line. So first down and 20. Clock rolling. Coming up on four minutes left. And if there's one thing that Brunswick coach Jerry Smith is not going to be happy about after this game, it's the penalties. Uh, that's for sure. First and 20, Hauk with the keeper. Gets a block, gets around the edge, across the 30. And another flag on the play. This one coming in from the defensive backfield. Hauk with more than enough for the first down, but illegal use of the hands against Brunswick. He's going to move them back. Moves the ball back to about the 24-yard line. So after all of that, we have a first down and six. <laughs> I guess if you're Brunswick, you can be thankful you're running the clock here anyway. Yep, that's for sure. <laughs> and now we're going to have another flag. This is going to be a delay of game call against the Railroaders. It's too much. <laughs> what, what do you do? What do you do? So that penalty moves the ball back to the 19-yard line. Still first down. First down and 11 for Brunswick. Had more than a minute run off the clock, and it's still <laughs> still first down. Here's a pass from Hauk. Completed to Mark Cook. Out to the 30-yard line. Showing a lot of faith in your quarterback there. <laughs> He's not going to stop the clock. First down and 10 at the 30. Handoff is to Wells up the middle. Picks up about four, keeps the clock running inside 220 now. And coach, again, you would go back to the, the touchdown run by, by Ben Wells and, and how big that was, not only uh, as far as you know, the, the point spread here, but also just changing the momentum because oh. you, know, you mentioned Boonesboro got the turnover, got the quick touchdown after that. Things were really turning their way. If, if they had gotten a stop there, yeah. you know, who knows where we are? They're only down three with plenty of time. Oh, absolutely. Here's Wells again into the defensive backfield. He is going to go all the way for the touchdown. Sixty-six yards for the touchdown for Ben Wells. Well blocked up front. He's what we call an explosive player. <laughs> Absolutely. Great block at the line by Mason DeFries. And that was what broke Wells into the open. Morasto adds the extra point. And Brunswick now 
with a 31-14 lead. With a minute 35 to go. And that probably makes it academic here. 17 point lead for the Railroaders with 135 to go. The Railroaders will improve to three and oh. Boonesboro take its first loss of the season. They'll drop to two and one. And that'll also end a six game winning streak for the Warriors in the regular season. And we mentioned in the in the pregame that same thing happened to them last year. They came into the Brunswick game with a six game winning streak and Brunswick ended it there. And the Railroaders is going to do the same thing to them here. Yeah, looks like Brunswick's kind of got their number here lately. But they're a good looking football team. They are. Definitely a team on the rise. We mentioned a trip to the Class 1A state semifinals last year. Uh, Brunswick coach Jerry Smith in, uh, in the preseason, you know, talked about the progress that that the program has made since since he took over in 2017 and three straight winning seasons coming into this year and and certainly look to be on their way to another this year and and uh, you know they're they're not satisfied with with building anymore they they want to keep winning now it's not a, it's not about progress it's about winning no and that shows out there you know, those kids really hung out. They had a lot of things going against them after that turnover. And... First down play for the Warriors. The pitch is to the ball. He gets out inside the 45-yard line, close to the 40 of the Railroaders. It's enough for a first down. Clock stopped it. 120 now rolling. We're coming up on 115 to go here in the final quarter. First down at the 40 for the Warriors to Lemko. With the pitch to Russell Collier. Picks up a couple. And coach for Boonesboro, not a lot that they did wrong here tonight. No, not were... a badly played game. It just, maybe just it, Brunswick got the offense going here in the second half especially, and it was just a little bit too much. They were really, whatever adjustments they made on the line, the blocking was excellent and allowed Wells to get to the second level, and he gets the second level. He's a load. He really is. Officials marking off a penalty here against Boonesboro. Sportsmanlike call against the Warriors. Moves the ball back to the 48. Surely a frustration penalty here for the Warriors. No doubt. Disappointed with taking the loss here tonight, but really nothing to hang their heads about. No, yeah, not at all. Pitch to the left side. Again, inside the 40-yard line, down close to the 35. Inside the 40 to the 36. Chad Wyand with the carry. Down at the 35-yard line. Final 10 seconds of the game here. Boonesboro will run one more play. That's Talenko. Pitches to Wyand. And that will do it. Time runs out on this one. Brunswick, after trailing 7-0 after one period, 
takes a 31-14 victory here over the Boonesboro Warriors. They improve to 3-0 on the season. Stay with us. We'll be back with the post-game show. We'll bring Bob Parcelletti in as well for his insight. High school football coverage on Antietam Broadband brought to you by Hagerstown Honda and Hagerstown Kia. Come back with us for the post-game show. Life's too short. Let Hagerstown Honda make you happy by putting you in the new Honda that you've always wanted, like the all-new redesigned Honda Accord, or the always dependable and fuel-efficient CRV, or the roomy and powerful Honda Pilot that seats up to eight people. Let Hagerstown Honda's helpful sales advisors pair you with the Honda that works best for you. From the dealer that's making it easy, Hagerstown Honda. Hi, I'm Brian Albert, Sheriff of Washington County. And as our students start back to school, the Sheriff's Office would like to remind motorists that you must stop for buses stopped with flashing lights. Vehicles must come to a complete stop if any of the following are true. The vehicle is traveling in the same direction as the school bus, even if the road has one lane, multiple lanes, or a central turning lane. Or if the vehicle is traveling in the opposite direction and road does not have a dirt, grass, or barrier median. With your help, we'll keep our children safe this school year. You're not the mayor of this town, I'd still be driving right from Hagerstown, Kia. Hagerstown, Kia. Be road trip ready in your new Kia from Hagerstown, Kia. Like the Kia Sorento, room for up to seven. Or the Kia Sportage with best-in-class cargo room. Or go big and bold with the Kia Telluride with room up to eight. Shop online at HagerstownKia.com or in person and let our sales consultants help you choose your next Kia. Serving our community proudly for over 25 years, we are Hagerstown, Kia. Kia. Rentals Unlimited proudly sponsors events happening in our community. Give our experienced personnel a call or stop by one of our five locations for all your home improvement, residential, commercial, or industrial projects. We provide friendly and knowledgeable service you can depend on the first time and every time. Rentals Unlimited. We rent solutions. 1458 South Potomac Street in Hagerstown and online at rentalsunlimited.com. Back here at Boonesboro High School post-game show, Antietam Broadband, the Brunswick Railroaders taking a 31-14 victory over the Boonesboro Warriors. Mark Keller and Coach Randy Longnick are here with you, and uh, a, a rough start, I guess, for, for Brunswick, not able to get much going offensively, but uh, late in the second quarter, things started to click for them, and they really kind of carried things over into the second half offensively. They really did. I think they made a few adjustments up front. It, the blocking was much crisper and better and solider up front, and that allowed Wells to get into the secondary. And man, once he gets to the second level, he's a load. <laughs> yeah, certainly a, a concern uh, late in that in that second period as Wells came out of the game with an injury, looked like maybe a cramp or something. It was on, on the bench, uh, stayed on the bench for the rest of the of the first half, but then uh, just came out with a vengeance there in the in the second half. You, we talked about how impressive he was running the ball, but you know really saw it, especially in that fourth quarter, the two long touchdown runs, 42 yards and 66 yards for him. It's great power and a great burst of speed as well. Oh, absolutely, and he's shiftier to, than you think too for a big guy like that. And his leg drive, and but his cuts are very fluid in the secondary. You know, he left guys hanging a little bit. So, yeah, he was very impressive tonight. Yeah, 1,650 yards last year. I'm not sure where he stood coming into this one, but this one will certainly get him, get him up, <laughs> up close to those numbers as well. And, you know, we, we, we talked about the, the quarterback play for Brunswick, uh, and, and, uh, and certainly Ethan Houck, very impressive throwing the ball. You know, and, and just a junior, we talked about the, the speed of the ball coming out of his hand and a very quick release as well. Uh, looked very good tonight. But then on the other side, you know, Colin Telemco, oh. we, you know, we, we sort of, I don't want to say we dismissed him, but, but you know, again, Boonesboro is a run first team. We, you know, they've not always been known for quarterback play. But Colin Telemco tonight, I thought looked, looked very impressive oh, throwing the football for he, the Warriors. He did an excellent job. I mean, he was on point on. Even his incompletions were point on. It was good defensive plays and stuff. And then not only his throwing, but he did a good job escaping pressure. I, 
Very impressive job from that young man. Yeah, tonight. great, great job. And that's that's something I'm sure that uh, that Coach Mark Wadle can look at coming out of this one. And and uh, you know maybe if he was if he was wondering what what they could do with the with the passing game, you know certainly this will 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 uh, kind of uh, open his eyes to to what maybe they can do. You know it's certainly. I mean, what can it hurt to, to add some passing into the, I, into the game? I would right? certainly put that in there. <laughs> uh, you know, we, we, we mentioned Boonesboro and, and, and their play here tonight. Nothing to hang their heads about. Was there anything that you saw here tonight that, that, you know, that just kind of didn't click for them? Because I didn't really see it. I thought they played a very good game here tonight. And, and maybe it's just a case of, hey, we ran up against a, a better team or a better team here tonight. I think, Mark, that's really it. I, I thought they played, they executed well. There were a free, few penalties and bad spots, but other than that, they played very well. They made plays. Well, Brunswick made more plays. Yeah. I mean, that's basically what it came down to, I thought. Yeah, the Railroaders, a very impressive team. Uh, starting out this season 3-0, and they now have a seven-game uh, winning streak in the regular season. We mentioned uh, the progress that that team has made over the last few years. Three straight winning seasons, a 3-0 and start this year. Things looking good uh, for the Railroaders uh, so far here this season. And believe it or not, we're already a third of the way through I this know. high school football season. Can you believe <laughs> it's that? amazing. Yeah, it's uh, unbelievable. So stay with us. We'll be back uh, with uh, after this break. Bob Parcelletti is going to uh, talk to uh, Boonesboro coach Mark Wadle. Um, actually, we're going to stay here because I think Bob's going to have have Coach Wadle here in just a just a moment. So uh, we'll we'll uh, wait for Bob to to get ready down there on the field. Uh, kind of go back through things. We mentioned the the two big uh, uh, touchdown runs from from Ben Wells, 42 yards, uh, 66 yards as well. Uh, and then uh, Hauk had a couple of uh, touchdown passes as well, 11 yards to Jacob Genos and uh, 19 yards to Mark Cook. Just a junior is uh, is Ethan Hauk. And, and uh, you know, what do you see from him? You know, we talked about release. We talked about the, the speed of the throw. What kind of things, uh, you know, is this a kid that's going to get some looks from, from colleges going forward as just a junior? I would certainly think so because it's not only the physical aspects that we talked about, but it was his composure out there too. You know, he had tremendous pressure. The blitz package Binsborough put in was very good. He just stood in there. He took some nasty hits, stayed in there. He was very accurate. Uh, if he had a flaw at all, it was maybe at times he throws it too hard and doesn't put air and allow his receiver to get into the ball. But other than that, I – Good-looking young man, and like you said, only a junior. He looked like a senior to me tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Really impressive uh, play from from Ethan Hauk here tonight. We're going to send it down to the field. Bob Parsletti is down there. He has uh, Dash Mussolino and uh, Danny and Dodson. Bob, go ahead and take it away. Okay, we're trying to get Bob uh, having having some mic issues down there uh, with Bob, so we're trying to see if we can get that fixed here. And still having some mic problems down there uh, with Bob. Uh, so. You know, we, we talk about Boonesboro being a run first team and, uh, you know, we saw some some success. They had some success early on in the game, scored that first touchdown, uh, you know, got got the early lead. Uh, but just the running game didn't really click with them here tonight. What what did you see that Brunswick was doing that was kind of breaking things up on, on the run for Boonesboro? They were stacking the box and they were doing a lot. Anytime they pulled, they were really flowing with the pulling guards really nice. So they took that aspect away. And it, good coaches on defense always want to take their primary plays away. So they were taking away the uh, fullback up the middle, pretty much clogged that up. Then when they tried to go outside, they had some success in the, um, in the first half. Second half, they flowed a little better. I think they pulled out their linebackers a little bit and were able to keep that at bay as well. And so, But that allowed the passing to work pretty well. But like we were talking, they didn't really do anything wrong. It's just they were up against, I think, a little bit better team. But I thought Boonesboro played really hard right to the very end. Um, maybe some counters in there may have been a little more effective, you know, just to keep them off balance a little bit. But uh, other than that, I thought it was solid game plan on both people or both teams' parts. So 
uh, I, you know, the, the wing tee's tough, but yeah. Boonesboro didn't accept, I mean, Brunswick didn't accept a little job shutting it down tonight. So as our coach here, I'm going to, I'm going to put you in the shoes of each, each of these coaches <laughs> and, uh, oh, do we have Bob ready? Oh, we're not going to hear Bob. Okay, uh, sorry about that. We don't have Bob ready. But I, as I'm saying, I'll put you in, in uh, the, the shoes of each of these coaches. Uh, what's your big takeaway uh, for each side? Let's start with Brunswick. What's your big takeaway tonight? Well, for Brunswick, I would feel really good about my team. Uh, we hung in there. We Probably the first time all year so far they found some adversity. And they fought through the adversity. They didn't panic. They stayed with their game plan. Uh, Wells, the running back, and the uh, showed composure. Uh, the quarterback, phenomenal, showed composure on that. They've got good, solid receivers. Their line play, we didn't talk a lot about line play in the, the big 75. Very solid. They had some um, motion or um, movement penalties early on, but solid block, blocking at the point of attack. So I, I'd feel pretty good. Maybe clean up the penalties a little bit. Talk to them about that, but other than that, they've got a nice scheme. They've got nice players. Uh, they're executing things pretty well. Okay, and over on on Mark Wadel's side, what what put you in those shoes? Well, Coach Wadel, you know, you you take a loss like this, you you need to pick your guys back up. You fought hard. You played a uh, a team tougher than you did last year. Okay, and he lost a lot of starters from last year's team. So these are a lot of guys that had varsity reps, but not less not necessarily starters from last year. And you played toe to toe with them uh, to the end. Really, the fourth quarter is where they got the best of them. So you use that and you build on it. I think, uh, as you said, also Mark with the quarterback and the passing, they hadn't had to do that. So tonight they did, and it, they got a pretty nice little passing attack. So you add a little more to the waggle. Maybe you run some screen plays. Some screen plays would have been nice in there. So you just broaden the package a little bit as you go down the road. But I think they have a lot to build on from that. All right. Uh, remind you once again, tonight's live coverage brought to you by Hagerstown Honda and Hagerstown Kia, the dealers that make it easy. Hagerstown Kia and Honda wish much success to the student athletes participating in tonight's game, the schools they represent, and the surrounding communities. Well, we've talked about it before. We're back with you next Friday night. We've got Clear Spring playing at Williamsport High School. We'll have live coverage of that next Friday night kickoff at uh, 7 p.m. over there at Williamsport High School. That does it for us here tonight. For Coach Longnecker, Bob Parsletti down on the field. We're sorry we didn't get you to hear from, from Bob again tonight, but uh, hopefully we'll have that next time. I'm Mark Keller. Thank you so much for joining us here for live high school football coverage on Antietam Broadband. We will see you next Friday at Williamsport High School.